I am Cal Mack, and I have the pleasure to be joined by the legendary cricketer, Graham Swan. Cal Mack, that was a voice born for podcasts. Of course, you were born for playing cricket. And, you know, I, I've watched your career and I am a big fan. And my nan's an even bigger fan, by the way. Good on you, nan. <laughs> so, first question, what do you think of the podcast? Great invention? Brilliant. I, I, it's better than Cash Cab. I better was just than saying. Cash yeah, Cab. Yeah, which is a big thing. Am I really bad to say that I have no idea what Cash Cab I is? I can't believe you've never heard of it. Go, give us a little Everyone. insight. What is no, Cash, Cash Cab? Cab? So you get in the back of a cab, they ask you quiz questions, you can win money. So you don't even have to pay your fare if you've got a brain. That's incredible. It's brilliant. Now, Graham, you are used to being in the Cricket Pavilion, but today you're at the Great British Motor Show yes. here in Farnborough. What has brought you here? Are you a big motoring fan, would you say? I am a massive motoring fan. I love all motorsport. I love my cars. I grew up desperately wanting an XR3i with the poached egg wheels. Oh my God, that was my dream car growing up. But I'm here with Cinch. And so uh, you know, Cinch sponsors the England cricket team now. And really? So That's great. As a result, I'm just jumping in and saying, yeah, I'll come to the, I'll come to the British Motor Show. Brilliant. And of course, this is the first British Motor Show in about 12 years. Yes. Do you think it's great to have something like this um, happening, you know, with all the COVID that's yeah. been going on, events have not been able to go through. So do you think this is a great thing, not just for people, but for the motoring sort of industry as well, having this back? Absolutely. I mean, any excuse to get people out there and, and get events on, but what better way to do it than get cars involved? Everyone loves cars. If you don't like cars, I don't trust you, basically. Um, I walked down from the car park past about... 15 Lamborghinis and McLarens and Ferraris. That's my sort of car show. That's your sort of yeah. car show. I love it. Now tell and me. And now I'm in the podcast cab. The pod cab. For the first ever time. Yes. First and time. You're loving it so far. I'm loving it. That's it's hot great. though. You need to get the air con sorted. I'm sweating up. <laughs> so tell me about the first ever car you saw that you fell in love with and thought, right, that's the car I really want. And what was it about that car that you loved in particular? Yeah. So the XR3i, when I was growing up, the Ford Escort was my dream car with the poached egg wheels but then the xr 4x4 the cosworth with a massive whale tail on the back of the sierra oh my god i lived in northampton so you saw quite a few of them quite a few cosworths about oh i just i'd never seen anything so ridiculous in that whale tail and so I, I didn't know what it did i didn't know anything about it but i wanted one and i've still not got one and they're about 120 grand now wow <laughs> should have got incredible. in before i mean they're proper 80s sort of Essex boy car yeah. they're great but they're really fast one was at Goodwood the other day and flew up the hill not far behind a Ferrari they're I brilliant I bet you'd love to get in that car oh my now. gosh yes but what about the first car can you that sort that out I I'll try brilliant I mean I can't promise just get it delivered to my I'll house I'll just say you know Graves keep it for Swan a couple of years. to drive it yeah right. and you want it what about the first car that you ever drove uh, first car I drove was a Volvo 240 Estate Torslander version legendary. silver legendary H747 E and H um which is my dad's car. <laughs> and I think he was quite clever. So when we started driving, he got a Volvo estate. These were in the days when that thing would, if you drove into a mountain, the mountain would crumble. It was an absolute tank. Nought 60 in about three weeks. And I managed to fishtail it one day. I've no idea how to this day, but I did coming out of Tesco's, Mearway, Northampton. I'd only gone for beans. <laughs> so have you seen any um, cars here that you like? Yeah, I saw all the supercars. And I'm actually staring at a new Defender at the minute with its blacked out. I love the old Defenders. I didn't like the new Defenders, but I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Can you sort that out? I'll, that? I'll try Great. again. And I'll be remiss not to ask you about your favourite memory from your cricket career. Uh, favorite, it has to be winning the Ashes for the first time, my first time, 2009. Um, I dreamt about it as a kid growing up and I got to live out my childhood dreams so fantastic. not everyone gets to do that and i got to do it so that's awesome. fantastic and what do you think of the current england team not as good as the team i played in but they're good they're, they could be very good i bet um, you're like analyzing what they're doing and thinking what are you doing wrong you have to as an ex-player you, you obviously do that all the time they just need to get the batting in order yeah. joe root is incredible but the rest of the guys just need to rise to his standards well, Graham, thank you so much for coming uh, and speaking to me. It's really been great to speak to you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me out as well, because it is roasting in here now. Come on, aircon, guys. I'll get that aircon.